the stock of Tech Mahindra was bashed at the markets today. And it all stemmed from its results which came out on Friday, which were seemingly in line with market expectations. But after a closer look, investors have some reason to complain and raise questions. Here's to Hina Pandey. The devil is in the fine print and the markets read it closely. No wonder Tech Mahindra's stock got hammered almost 8% in trade today on back of accounting jigsaw. 968 crore rupees received by the company as restructuring fees from its largest client British Telecom is central to the concerns being voiced by the brokerage houses. 150 crore rupees has flown into the revenue line this quarter as additional bloating the top line and margins. Take this off the picture and revenue shows 0.4% decline, Q on Q versus 4% claimed growth as states a CLSA report. Margins show a blip of 500 basis points versus 200 basis points. Advice of our auditors and advisors on that is very clear. They are saying you can only recognize this revenue as you deliver services against these contracts and as you incur cost against these contracts. So we've just taken that very simple advice and we are recognizing the revenue quarter on quarter on quarter. While Tech Mahindra is defending the accounting move, one thing is clear. Its key client, BT, is in troubled waters, constantly ramping down with price cuts. My business in North America quarter on quarter has grown in US dollar terms by 13%. Uh, if I look at my business in the rest of the world, which is Middle East, Asia Pacific, India, uh, albeit with a sm from a small base, my revenues have grown 43% in that space. So that sort of puts to rest the fact that overall as a business from Q2 to Q3, we seem to have performed. It's a no-brainer why Tech Mahindra was so keen to buy out Satyam, being a niche telecom company in the long run, with over-dependence on a single client like BT is not an option. A smooth merger with Satyam will make it a rounded and a sustainable IT company. But that's still a long way away. In Mumbai, Tuhina Pandey for NDTV Profit.